It's ECOWAS 50th Ordinary Summit, but for the leaders attending, the meeting is not so ordinary. The regional bloc is in the global spotlight. It's faced with the difficult task of convincing one of its leaders to leave office at the end of his term. An earlier mission led by Liberia's Ellen Johnson Sirleaf to Gambia failed to convince the incumbent president to accept December's vote and leave office next month. So the regional bloc is sending another message. It is now important that the authority at this summit considers recommended measures to bring this matter to successful conclusion before January 19, the constituted date when the mandate of the incumbent president expires. One conspicuous absentee at the summit was a regular face in previous ones. Yaya Jame, the man who's been trying to hold on to power despite at first conceding defeat in the December vote. The regional bloc may be talking tough to have him leave office, but it was short on specifics as to how to achieve this. The ECOWAS Commission chairman hinted that military intervention is an option, but not every member country is warming up to that idea. Sanctions and blockade of Gambia may be other options to force Mr. Jame out and hand over power to President-elect Adam Abaro. But some diplomats are hopeful that the crisis can be resolved before it reaches that stage. The ECOWAS protocols are very clear, so there's always a privilege to dialogue and diplomatic solution, and that's what ECOWAS will do, seek all peaceful means to ensure a smooth transfer of power at the end of the term of President Jami. For now, Yaya Jami, who's been in power for 22 years, hasn't given any ground and may want to test the resolve of not only his colleagues in ECOWAS, but Gambians to extend his grip on power. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Abuja, Nigeria.